What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another deck profile here on TCG University for the Card Game Universes. My name is Tam, and today I'm going to be going over James's deck for the Band Brawl Campus Championship, Liu Kang One Dot, the uh, the Scourge of the Meta, as he was named. So, um, what that we're doing is we know all these characters are banned, but the we wanted to have a, a fun tournament and see what a uh, cool eight banned characters would look like all fighting against each other from a, a bunch of different formats. And so what we have decided to do is uh, make these standard legal decks with the banned characters and uh, show you guys how they uh, how they work. So with that said, let's jump into the profile. All right, so Liu Kang one dot. For anybody who hasn't seen one of my deck profiles, basically the way that we're going to be doing this is as opposed to just reading verbatim what the character does, I'm going to give you more of a of an elevator pitch of how the deck works and the cool combos inside of the deck and then um explain why the th cards are where they are so Liu Kang. Liu Kang says um, after you play a combo attack, your opponent adds a top card of the deck into their card pool, which makes things significantly harder to block, as well as I get to discard cards off the top of my deck in order to try and find combo attacks based on the number of cards you have in your card pool. So that, that depends on uh, me stuffing them with Liu Kang, you blocking on my turn, or you even playing attacks on your turn. The reason he got banned is because of this discard the top X cards of your deck was so potent on both players' turn. That he just uh, always had a, a handful of attacks on every turn. His turn, your turn, every turn. Um, he just got to pick up free cards. And so, uh, yeah, the whole deck capitalizes on on just making him run as efficiently as possible. He himself is a, a beautiful engine, and I just want him to run and, and keep running and keep running. So, with that, let's uh, let's jump into the profile. So, the main kill card that we have in the deck is Windmill Punch. Windmill Punch is a phenomenal card, not just in uh, Liu Kang, but in everything. But in Liu Kang, it really does shine. It has multiple three, and whenever the multiples are resolved, they get discarded from the card pool. And the reason this is so good, and I'll just uh, flip these cards, and they'll be my multiples, is on Windmill Punch, I will take and mill the top cards with Liu Kang and find a, 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 a combo tag. Sweet, I found one. Well, then on the multiple... I'll do it again and find another one, and then it discards from my card pool, and then on the next multiple, it'll happen, I'll find another one, and then find another one. Oh, hey, look, I turned one attack and multiple three into seven attacks. Um, it, it's it's incredibly, incredibly strong, the consistency that this, this card, this one card just fills your hand with. Really, really strong stuff. In the same vein, we've got four Bicycle Kick. Bicycle Kick is a card that was incredibly well designed. It combos with itself, not in the proper noun of the game combo. It combos with an attack, so I guess it does combo with itself. But more importantly, it combos and gains multiple X. X is the number of cards in my opponent's card pool because it, he just keeps kicking and kicking and kicking. As well as you can add a copy of Bicycle Kick from your discard pile to your momentum. And so it can by itself fuel at least a multiple one. As long as we've got one in our discard pile, which we are discarding cards every uh, every enhanced step. Up next, we've got another momentum generator. We've got Swallow Your Soul. Swallow Your Soul is just another three damage attack. But the important thing about this card is, number one, it's a throw. And number two, um, if it deals three or more damage, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. On a five low for th three, that Liu Kang stuff's an additional card in their card pool. So essentially a six low for three. This card is a powerhouse in the deck, and then its own combo ability, which it combos with a 3 damage attack, spoiler alert, they're all 3 damage, it gets very, very big. Next big swinger is Lower Great Wall. This is out of Zhang Hua's uh, support. Uh, just says combo enhances deck, it's 3 damage. It, it is just a gnarly finisher. It's just 6 damage on a stun 2 stuffed Probably two cards because we played a combo the, as a first attack and then get the combo enhance on uh, this one. So stuff two cards, four mid, stun two for six damage. This is just the meat and potatoes. This is a, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful poke. And then my last attack in the deck to round it all out is Liu Kang's Fireball. This card's just a really gnarly block. It combos with an attack. It does uh, what Liu Kang wants to do, which is stuff another card, and it guarantees your check by adding the top card of your deck, a uh, discard pile, back to your deck. So the way, for, for everybody who doesn't know, the way that uh, milling works in our in our game is, let's say you have three cards in your card pool, um, and I enhance on Liu Kang, I mill the top three cards of my deck, and then I get to pick the, or obviously these are all the things, I get to pick the order of which I put them back, and then lay them on top, and then from Liu Kang's Fireball, take the top one and put it up. Um, strong stuff, strong stuff. All right, moving on to the um, actions 
and foundations. These are the, the tech cards, the surprise cards, the trap cards, the flavor that we get to have inside the deck. And uh, one thing that we have to have as our four actions is Fort Yin and Yang. This is Liu Kang's action. This card used to be incredibly, incredibly expensive for sure, but makes a comeback now. Um, but it says, response after you block with this card, add a combo attack from a discard pile to your hand. Uh, probably one of these ones that are just going to absolutely demolish you. Um, in addition to that, response remove after you play a combo attack, do the Liu Kang thing and stuff the top two out of your deck. So I can take and launch off with a uh, Liu Kang's fireball, respond with Liu Kang, you'll add one in, respond with Yin and Yang, add two more in. Now whenever you see one of my... Uh, Liu Kang Mills, I get to find three cards and look at the top three as opposed to normally just the top one and then two. It's three and then four off of Liu Kang. This card being uh, his ultra rare is incredibly strong. Really, really good pick for, for him. And then our asset is Kurita Yuga at a one of. Um, it just says uh, twice per turn you're stunning, it's plus two. That's only really relevant on one card, but the important bit is... If your attack has a printed damage of three, they all do. Ready Foundation and uh, give it three more damage. So it just turns one attack into two attacks, and uh, you get to keep playing more attacks. With the best card on our deck being a five difficulty and wanting to be played as a combo, it's super simple to check a five, commit your one foundation, then with Critty Yuga, uh, give Windmill Punch another three damage, um, making it a seven damage, because it has a static that gives an additional one damage, and then ready up the foundation that you committed. Um, it's just This card is just so win more on a one five non-block. It's very, very strong stuff. Okay, onto our foundations. The foundations are laid out into uh, two different, or a couple different camps. The and the way that I want to describe these is, as opposed to just once again reading off what they do, I want to tell you more about the jobs and the roles that they play. And so the first uh, section that I want to talk about is the aggressive foundations, the I want to kill you foundations. And the first one is God of Thunder, because we're playing a combo deck. It's super easy to accidentally check bad and commit out my whole entire staging area and since i'm playing a combo aggro deck i just run out of resources i need to be able i need to be able to destroy foundations in order to ready back up foundations in order to keep playing attacks because that's the that's the cool combo uh, character that Liu kang wants to be i just want to combo you out and then just uh and just eventually kill you for the same reason that we play in God of Thunder to re-ready our foundations, we're playing uh, for Search for the Knight of Mare. Um, enhance flip at the top card of your deck to your staging area. So build one face down, only playable if you've played a combo. So on your second attack, if I get to play my combo, cool combo ability, I now get to Searching of the Knight of Mare and build another one, which means I get to play maybe two or three more attacks, which I found off of Liu Kang. Remember, he just finds a whole grip of attacks. Next, we're playing Triple Fatal Disagreement. This just lets Liu Kang's... Uh, enhance be a little more alive um first form commit add the top card of your uh deck to your top card of your opponent's deck to their card pool so it's just another copy of Liu kang's uh twice per turn so this just says thrice per turn next we're playing for ridding the world of outsiders this card is insane inside of Liu kang just because of we, we already said our best attack is a multiple and ridding the world of outsiders just works with multiples it's just like it's just what it wants to do um just plus two plus two to my next one and then that next one will discard itself so it doesn't feel bad committing the foundation because normally what that means is if i commit this on a multiple my turn's probably over but in Liu kang and with a uh, windmill punch that's just not the case Next, I've got three or four greatest combatant. It's just plus one or minus one damage. Um, if we were playing a reversal and we get to stuff a card into my opponent's card pool face down, um, this card would be be way way stronger. But that's not that big a deal. The goal here is we get to just take in plus one damage all of our stuff. In addition to it being a six check, which if I can stack any sixes on top of my deck with any way, uh, like Liu Kang's fireball or such, it's just a it's just a guaranteed six on top. Really, really a good synergy card in this uh in this deck. Up next, we've got Last Priestess of the Winds. Um, this is essentially Greatest Combatant, but only for my face down attacks, and it's uh plus one speed, plus one damage for all of my multiples. Really, really strong ability. As it uh as it. As it finishes out, as well as it's a good combo starter with the response after you play a, a Wimbo Punch. Let's say you've got two Wimbo Punches. You can just uh, response flip and then grab your extra momentum um, off of your Wimbo Punch and then play the other Wimbo Punch and then push it through. Or play a Bicycle Kick or something along those lines. Up next, uh, one of the most underrated cards in f the standard format, uh, Champion of Combat. Just plus X plus X for each of my opponent's face down foundations. Uh, or each foundation in my corner. Uh, or each face down. Each card. Wow. Each card in my opponent's staging area. In their card pool. It was just... Plus one, plus one for each card in my opponent's card pool. Sorry, that was so hard to get out. Um, this just says that uh, if you happen to block any of my attacks, it makes up for it uh, on the tail end. And with Liu Kang being able to stuff some, um, this is at, at minimum 
plus two plus two, and that's not including any uh, yin and yang responses, nor the deadlock enhance your turn, add the top card of their uh, deck to their card pool face tail. Super, super relevant. Very strong card. Uh, we're playing uh, three maternal swordsmanship still in that gotta kill you phase. Uh, flip this gets two speed, two damage, and then ready a card. Self-explanatory for the same reasons that like God of Thunder is in here or the or the um, rid of the world of outsiders. This is just another version of that. We're playing four fusion refusal. Here's where we start to branch into the uh, the please don't kill me cards. Um, this is just plus two or minus two damage playable while committed, and sometimes we just have to get there. The thing about this card though is it does interrupt all of our combos. All of our combos, none of them combo with a foundation. They all combo with just an attack of sorts, and so um, you need to be able to. You need to be able to figure out how that interacts with um, your your card pool that you're playing. You can't just toss these up in there all willy-nilly. you got to really think about it. And then my only disruptive piece, I have no defensive in here, um, except for you could say Fusion Refusal, is Ageless and Wise. Um, I need my cool stuff to happen. I need foundations in order to keep comboing out and killing you. And so just Triple Ageless and Wise is kind of a catch-all for making sure that I get to do, uh, do cool stuff. All right, and that was it. Liu Kang one dot underwater. Let James know how you like his deck, and let us know how you like the engine of the deck. Yeah, these characters are indeed banned. You can't play them in a standard universes format, but you can still play them in some fun uh, kitchen top UFS, or you can play them inside of uh, the the deck in underneath a different character. Liu Kang two dot does exist, so I mean you can still play this exact same thing. Maybe not quite to the banana sandwich results that uh, that some people would. So, um, if you like us, please go out to, if you like the content, please go out to patreon.com slash tcguniversity. Sub out there for the $1 level and have a full-blown conversation with us out on Discord about Liu Kang or the three damage package or, or anything as well. And if you want to catch the Campus Championships lives, go out to twitch.tv slash tcguniversity every Tuesday at 6 o'clock where we have a brand new bracket. We do an entire uh, uh, filmed tournament for all of you guys to be later put up on YouTube. So, if you like that, thank you very much for watching the video and stay learned.